Hello, everyone. This is Darko. I'm back with another video. Today, I will be doing a review of Paper Mario the Origami King on the Nintendo Switch. Apparently, this is the sixth game in the series. What are my thoughts on it? First of all, I'm going to say it's a good game. Well, it's not the best. I honestly enjoyed my experience with it. The best still consider for me, my personal favorite is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is the first I've played, so I'm kind of being a little biased, but honestly, I think that's my favorite. The first three games are considered beloved by many fans. The fourth game, Paper Mario Sticker Star, has been hated. A lot by fans, and I can see why there's no experience points, there's no partners, and it's just kind of tedious, according to some people. And people can't decide if they like or hate Paper Mario Color Splash. Like, the general reaction is you could find it okay if you play it. And some people say it's like a guilty pleasure of them. Like it's a guilty pleasure for them to like the game. Well, this game has not lived up to the three. I think it holds up on its own terms. I will say nitpicks first. One, there is no experience points. And partners don't even help you in battle like they kind of help you but you can't like use them like you can't use moves but their own specific moves they just do like if you try to attack they might even do just a basic attack and that's it they don't have like their own special moves or you don't command them they just do it that and how how the story does, it seems to be more like, not an RPG, but more like an action-adventure game. But for me, I didn't mind that cons. I didn't mind it. I actually kind of find it kind of refreshing to be the first open-world Paper Mario game. And I actually still enjoyed the story and the characters. I just liked how it was just so cheery and tragic and times i was it's so funny at times i honestly did enjoy it the ending actually had me shed a tear it was just so tragic and beautiful i'm like that's that's great i honestly it's not perfect but i honestly thought i had a good time with it and the surprises act and references to the past actually kind of made me nostalgia blind. If you know what I mean. Like, it's nostalgia. I say play it. I recommend this game. It may not be the as good as the first three, but honestly, I think it holds up by itself. You might like it, you might not, but I enjoyed it for what it was. If you like this video, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Darko out. Peace.